All right, guys and gals, I've got five tips for stacking delay pedals ambient style. Let's get to work. Stacking delay pedals is a time-honored tradition for ambient guitarists, and it allows us to get much more complex tones and textures than we would otherwise be able to get with one single delay pedal. So for these tips, I'm going to be using four different delay pedals, the Strymon El Capistan, the Strymon Dig, the Earthquaker Devices Avalanche Run, and the Electro Harmonics Canyon. Now, you don't need these particular delays. You can use whatever you have or whatever you prefer. I just want to show you some techniques. Number one, use different delay types. This is a really great technique to use when you're stacking delays because it allows you to achieve more complexity in the tone if the delay types in the different delay pedals are different. Let me demonstrate. So first up, I've got an El Capistan delay set up. Okay, and that is a tape style delay and you can hear that warble of the, uh, the simulated tape. All right, so next up, uh, that I'm going to use for this demo is the Strymon Dig, and let's listen to that delay. Okay, and you can hear that that's a very clean sounding digital style delay with some modulation. Now, if we put both of them together, let's check this out. Isn't that cool? You can hear that the El Capistan, because it's a tape style delay, is kind of degrading and getting more warbly, and it's mixed in with the cleaner delay that's modulating um, with the dig, and it gives you some really interesting interplay and phasing effects between the two delays. In particular, as the delay fades out. So, just a really nice sound. Number two, vary the decay times between the delay pedals that you're stacking. In the prior tip, I've got the delays set to the, essentially the same decay time. Okay, so everything is kind of, everything's repeating more or less in sync. But what if, what if I change the delay time on one of the delays? Let me do that with the dig. We're going to make it really super short. Here we go. Yeah, isn't that cool? With the second delay set to a very short decay time, and since it's a stereo delay, you almost get a chorus effect. <laughs> It's kind of chorusing not only the dry signal of the guitar, but it's also chorusing even more the uh, delays coming from the El Capistan. Now, let's try it the opposite where we have a long delay on the dig and a short delay on the El Cap. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. And this one's good for volume swells. Vary the decay time. Tip number three, vary the delay repeats to add complexity to the stacked delays. So again, here's what I've got so far. 
But again, everything's kind of decaying at the same time. But what if I make the dig decay a lot longer? Longer. Right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Now let's try the opposite and add lots of repeats to the L cap and bring the repeats down on the dig. cool with the repeats turned up on the L cap it's you're getting very close to self oscillation right but with the repeats turned down and that shorter decay time on the dig you still get that wider chorusing effect and it's just really nice <laughs> Tip number four, this is a big one. Mix stereo and mono delays. All right, let me, let me explain here. If you've got a number of delays, you can set up a configuration like I do. Take a mono delay, so in my case, I'm using the El Capistan in mono mode, run it into a stereo delay, and I'm using the Strymon Dig in stereo mode, and then, take the right and left outputs of your stereo delay and run one each into a separate mono delay. All right, so I've got my dig running the one output into the Electroharmonics Canyon. The other output is running into the Earthquaker Devices Avalanche Run. And it's pretty cool. So um, I'm going to turn off the L cap and the dig. And again, here's my dry signal. First up is the avalanche run. And I'm going to go ahead and engage that. And here's what I've got dialed up. So a real slow delay uh, just coming out of one channel to it's my, my left. That's what I'm hearing. It's probably your right. All right, so that's the, uh, the avalanche run. Now here is the canyon set up. Here's, here we go. And it's an even slower delay coming out of the other side. All right. And as you can hear, it's a different uh, delay type. That actually is the uh, canyon's tape type delay. Now, if we put them both uh, in the mix, here's what we get. So that actually is one tip. If you've got a way to split your signal, your mono signal into stereo, you can just put two delay pedal, mono delay pedals in the signal and have stereo delays just like that, right? It's kind of running them in parallel. But let's go ahead and add the dig into the mix and see what we get with the dig, avalanche run, and canyon.
that's really cool. So with the dig in the mix, we've got this additional push of delay repeats feeding into the avalanche run and the canyon. So it really keeps those longer delays moving along. Now you ready for this? Let's go ahead and add the L cap in and see what we get. That's really, really, really nice. Tip number five, well, this is a simple one. Don't overdo it. If you're stacking multiple delays like I am, it's easy to go like overboard and get something that's out of control and really doesn't enhance your music. And just be careful. I think especially with the repeats. So if you've got a, if you've got a delay pedal that can do self oscillation, when you stack it with other delays, it magnifies that self oscillation. Let me show you real quick what I mean. I'm going to crank the repeats on the El Capistan and crank the repeats on the Avalanche Run. Both of those delays can self oscillate very easily. Here we go. Now that's really cool, but what you can't do with that is really play anything very distinct because the textures just all blend together and get out of control very quickly. So be very aware of your layers and make sure that none of them are overtaking the other layers and producing a tone that you're not really interested in. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Chords of Orion. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming each and every week. Also, if you want to hear more stacked delays, check out Chords of Orion Music. And as always, I will see all of you on the next video.